I would like to welcome you to this webinar, which is offered by Karina and Etzeplan Tito Press. The objective of today's webinar is to introduce you to the basic concepts and benefits of Simplified Technical English and S1000D. We will also provide an understanding of a Simplified Technical English project, and we will discuss the role of S1000D in Simplified Technical English. First, I'm going to do a small quiz with you. Um, the question here is, what is the correct meaning of uh, the sentence, turn off the engines, not required. Um, if you think that it means A, turn off the engines that are not required, please put in A. And if you think that turning off the engines is not required at all, then please put in B. Uh, as I mentioned, English is more complex than you think. Um, set, run, go, take, stand, these are all quite simple words. The result, for instance, of not addressing the issue of ambiguity is that, of course, your end users can be confused, they can be frustrated, but that's probably the least of your problems. Uh, a little bit on the margin. Jeff will talk a little bit more about the relationship between SDE 100 and S1000D, but in essence, uh, SDE is required or is called upon by S1000D as well as by the APA. So, what exactly does s 1000 d say about simplified technical English? If we look strictly at the chapter itself, right in chapter one, it, it states that if we... So, so these are types of examples of where S1000D is asking uh, projects to state these things in their business rules. Here are some uh, other areas where uh, SDE has an impact on developing s 1000 business rules. 96%. So you can see that the use of a checker tool actually can be quite handy because it really allows you to just get a few of the errors that you didn't see or that you oversaw to basically get all of those out of the uh, out of the way. So what we would like to offer you in that regard is to uh, let us know if you are interested in a content reality check. Uh, two case studies very quickly, uh, one for Rolls Royce. Same goes with American Airlines. It's a client that we are very happy with that we're dealing with right now. So you can see that the Simplified Technical English and s and d are, are a highly functional and very powerful frameworks uh, for meeting your technical documentation. 